Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kumal Kumar Shekhawat and I hope you all are doing great. I create videos on how to do data analysis using various software like SPSS, Data, eViews and R. So if you are new to my channel, please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe. So in this video, I will explain how to find the lag of a variable in a time series or panel data series in eViews. So let's get started. So I shall explain here two ways how to find the lag of a variable in eViews. So first of all, what is a lag variable? A lag variable is a variable based on the past values of the time series. Okay. So to find out the lag of a variable in eViews, you need to import your data file first. As you can see, I have already imported my data file and there are various variables in the data file. Okay. Now, suppose I want to obtain the lag of this variable GDP. Okay. As you double click the variable, you can have a look on the entire information over the time period. Okay. Now, if I want to obtain the lag of this variable GDP, the first way is you need to click on this option generate and you can see a new dialog box will open and there is an option for enter equation. Okay, so let's uh, assume that the new variable generated is GDP1. So we are mentioning GDP1 indicates that lag 1 of the variable GDP has been obtained. Okay, so this is the name of the new variable which is being generated by put an equal and then write the original variable and within brackets mention minus 1. This indicates that lag 1 of the variable GDP over the time period has been generated, okay? So once you have written this in this equation box, click OK. As you can see, a new variable GDP1 has been obtained, right? Now suppose you want to obtain the lag of a variable GDP with two lags, okay? So the procedure is again same. You need to click on generate. And here, now suppose we can write the name of the new variable as GDP2, which indicates that it is lag 2 of the variable GDP. Then put an equal, write the name of the original variable and within brackets mention minus 2. So minus 2 indicates that lag 2 of the variable GDP has been generated. Okay. So once you have written this equation, click on OK. Now you can see GDP2 has been generated. Now if you select all these variables by using the control key and open these variables as group. So you can have a look on all these three variables. So first one is the original variable GDP. GDP1 is lag1 of GDP. And GDP2 is lag2 of the variable GDP. So this is how you can generate lag using eViews. Okay. So this is the first way to obtain the lag of a variable. You can obtain lag3, lag4, whatever you want to obtain or whatever is applicable in your model. Right. Now you can close this window. Now, if you want to obtain, so there is another method to obtain the lag of a variable for that. I'm deleting the already generated lag variables. All right. Now, let's have a look on the second way to generate the lag of a variable. You can follow either way. So, for that, right click on the work file. And click on option new object. A new dialog box will open and there is a list of type of object. So you need to select series over here and in the name for object 
you have to write the new variable that you are going to generate. So, suppose the name for the new variable is GDP1, which indicates that we are obtaining lag 1 of the variable GDP. Okay, and click here. All right, so you can see GDP1 has been generated. But if you double click this variable, this will indicate no observation in the list, right? Because we have not indicated yet the values for the variable. So for that, there is a command that you need to write in the command box, which is GDP1 indicate lag one of the variable GDP, put in equal, and then write GDP within brackets minus one, which indicates that lag one of the variable GDP has been obtained. Okay, then click enter. And you can see over here, GDP one variable has been generated. And if you double click the variable GDP one, you can see lag one of the variable GDP has been generated, right? Now, suppose in the similar way, you want to obtain the lag of GDP, second lag of GDP. So for that, you need to write over here, minus two, and the new variable will be GDP two. Okay, so we are just differentiating the variables in order to distinguish them that GDP one indicates lag one of GDP, GDP2 indicates lag 2 of the GDP. GDP3 indicates lag 3 of the GDP. You can write any name which you find suitable in order to distinguish the lag and the original variable. Okay. So the equation is again same. GDP2 is equal to GDP within bracket minus 2. This indicates that we are obtaining lag 2 of the variable GDP. So once you have written the equation, click on enter and you can see GDP 2 has been obtained. So if you double click this variable, you can see lag 2 of the variable GDP has been obtained. Okay. So this is how you can obtain the lags of a variable and I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.